Okay, guys, fight commentary breakdowns here. Guest commentator Vivek from We Good. How you doing, man? What's up, man? And to be here. so this is in Ukraine, and this is a Kudo guy versus a Muay Thai guy. That's why I wanted your roommate Ashish to do this because Ashish does Muay Thai. Mm-hmm. So Kudo is a Japanese system that is sort of their mixed martial arts system. Now Muay Thai is the Thai version of kickboxing, mm-hmm. punch and kick heavy. So um, you watch a lot of World Star Hip Hop and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. it's like random street fights. <laughs> and they are definitely not as organized as this, like oh, much more chaotic. Of course not. It's yeah. just haymakers yeah, every haymaker. time. <laughs> exactly. So also no cage and stuff like that to pin people against and try to launch strikes. Yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. It's definitely a lot more like tactical. Yep. And so it looks like there is very limited clinch rules, a jab by Kudo guy. So they are fighting in gloves, so that would probably limit both especially Kudo Guy's arsenal, because if he has a lot of grappling in the system, Mm -hmm. ooh, he definitely ate that. Um, Okay, so there's elbow. So this is probably kind of Muay Thai rule, so it's favoring the Muay Thai guy. I do not like the shots of the audience. (laughs) Takes us away from the action. Um, Are these guys known fighters? I do not know this Kudo Guy. I might have featured him before. But mm. I don't want to say for certain because I just might be mistaken. Oh, he tried to throw, but that did not work. Do you and Ashish watch fights together or not really? Not, not really. Not really. Okay. Um, I just see him like air jabbing or air sparring. I see. You see him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's pretty cool. So he, yeah. he's, he does his own kind of a shadow boxing in here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shadow boxing. There you go. I see. There you go. A little one, two, one oh. hook by Kudo guy. Um, Kudo guy is getting a little bit tired. He's dropping his oof. One of those spinning elbows or spinning back fists might land the Muay Thai guy. So that's something to look out for. Muay Thai guy definitely sticking to his Muay Thai arsenal, even a plum right there. See, that took me out of the action. Imagine if like you're watching World Star Hip Hop or something, and then it suddenly in the middle of the fight shows one of the people watching, right? Yeah. It's kind of the same thing. <laughs> So, comments always blame the cameraman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <be> doing better. <laughs> exactly. Are there uh, clothing's not like yeah, standard? Not standard you at just all. Wear whatever. Yeah, you could just wear it. I guess he's wearing his kudo uniform to represent. But like you said, that gives like unfair advantages, yeah, right? Way so unfair advantage. Clothes. Yeah, and he's probably overheating, man. The mm. kudo gi looks like it's not too comfortable. You know. Yeah. Whereas the muay thai guy can perspire. Yeah, I remember I used to do karate and I had to wear a gi. And Oof. That was like pretty thick. It's yeah. Like pretty thick material. Definitely. How long did you do karate? Uh, I actually stopped like two belts before black. I see. Oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. Do you remember which system of karate? No, I did okay. as a kid. As so a kid. Like, I it see. was nothing like technical. It was more of like, yeah, I could fight. Just to, <laughs> yeah, just to, just to practice. So our kudo guy drops his other hand when he's striking. So that's something. Mm. Ooh, he's ate quite a few oh, elbows. Man. Oh, oof. Ow. He's getting one of those elbows. Crazy. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So if I were his corner, I'd be like, if your hand's here, at least it blocks a little bit of the elbow. Put your hand, the other hand, attach it when you're... It's much easier said than done because yeah. we want to extend, right? Mm-hmm. But you can still get a rotation of the opposite shoulder. You don't have to drop your hand. Mm, yeah, he's got to keep his guard up. Yeah, exactly. So that's something to keep in mind. I think Muay Thai guys so far... He's got no takedowns, and the Kudo guy's been trying to take him down. But so far, uh, Muay Thai guy has landed a lot of good strikes. Yeah. The jabs by Kudo guy has landed. But, you know, mm. I don't think Kudo guy's tried to throw any elbows yet. So, yeah. He, he's, like, hesitating to get yeah. on the offense. Yeah. And Muay Thai guy's definitely keeping him at bay with the knees. Kudo guy definitely hasn't thrown many knees either. Mm-hmm. So, oh, another, oh, he ducked under and spun. Wow. Yeah, this oh, is. There you, go, there. there you go. Use your grappling to your advantage, man. Until the ref stops it, like throw him. Oh, there we go. There Ugh. we go. I don't think that was an effective throw, but he tried. So. Yeah, the, I like this fight because sometimes, you know, people will criticize, be like, oh, you didn't pick a good Muay Thai guy. I think this guy's a very good representative of what Muay Thai can do. Mm. In fact, if Ashish were here, he might 
even agree with me. The voice actor kind of looks like Dean, <laughs> one of the people we trained under before. <laughs> he kind of looks like Dean. <laughs> Man. So, um, you're a hip hop artist, right, Vivek? R&B. 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 Yeah. I see. So, you could potentially make some music for this league, right? Potentially. Uh, I don't know if it would be like a lovely song. But okay. It's definitely more of the hip hop realm. Okay. I see. I see. So, they are... Oh, there we go. The Kudo guy has at least twice, unfortunately, thrown himself more than thrown the other guy. So, unfortunately. Oh. Oh. There's a bunch of dogs barking, if you guys can hear outside. I don't know what's going on. So, looks like it's all good. <laughs> you choked on your water. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've done that before. In the middle of commentary, sometimes I've accidentally swallowed my spit, and then I'm like, <laughs> choked. So it looks like they're checking our Muay Thai guy. We'll have to see how he got that injury. He says he's okay. I don't know what happened there. He's heated. Yeah. Do you hear that little dog barking all the time? No, that's oh, kind of new to It's me. a new little dog barking. Have you ever seen any of these fights live, Vivek? No. Okay. Um, it's definitely I've worth it. I wanted to mm -hmm. uh, go to like a fight live. I, I see. Know, and like, uh, it's kind of funny. Um, there's this one fight in like Oakland that my friends have been to. Mm hmm it's like midgets fighting each other. What? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, we definitely should cover some of that in the future too. <laughs> but it gets like WWE style. Oh, that's like where they weird. bring out the chairs and stuff. Oh, I see. I yeah. see. So this fight became kind of wild. They were exchanging leg kicks for a while, but now, ooh, they're allowing nine to or 12 to <laughs> six elbows. I don't know why. Um, yeah. 12 to six elbows are not allowed. Are they allowed in Muay Thai? I don't know. They're not allowed in MMA, but this also is not an MMA fight. So, like, your standard yeah. Western MMA. Oh, finally! Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's took him down. Yeah, finally. Use your grappling. He ducked under. <coughs> there we go. He got him. Oh, he got him. Oh, Woo! Oh, oh. He finally woke up. He's like, I'm Kudo. I'm not a boxer. I'm not a karate yeah. guy. Kudo, <laughs> karate, boxing, judo, jujitsu, etc. So, I think Sweet. Kudo Guy is behind in points, man. He has to step it up third round. Mm. Let's see where that cut came from. Oh, that spinning elbow. Oh, man. He kind of had his right hand up, so he mm. didn't really eat most of it. This was one of the fail throws. He failed twice at throwing, but had two successful throws. Mm. So, it didn't really show how that guy's eyebrow got. Sometimes it's just the gloves. It just hits you at the right angle, and if your face is not Vaseline, you're going to get cut. Oh, so. they put Vaseline? Yeah. Usually that's why they put Vaseline around the eyebrows and stuff. It's because, contrary to what people think, gloves are not smooth, right? They look smooth, yeah. but when they hit your skin and there's any rotation or any sliding, it's going to cut your skin. That's why there's so much mm. Vaseline. Especially if it's boxers, right? Boxers are completely Vaseline. Oh, man. So, okay, so let's see if Kudo Guy can... Take advantage of his newfound glory. There we go. Oh. I think if he keeps doing this, he might win. He needed to get him tired out. Yep, exactly. Get Muay Thai guy to commit. a little reckless. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Muay Thai guy is probably headhunting, looking for that knockout. Yeah. And like you said, uh, Kudo guy just needs to get him tied up like this. Exactly. There you go. Keep throwing him. And I don't know how much throws are scored because this is not a standard Muay Thai match, but... Mm. Um. Oh, nice oh. jab! <laughs> that was pretty good. While the guy was coming in on one foot, he jabbed him down. See, guys, jabs are overrated or underrated. Wow, I said overrated. Underrated, <laughs> man. Jabs are the most. The shots of the audience are overrated, but jabs yeah. are underrated, <laughs> man. Jeez, a good stiff jab stops you in your tracks, man. It's not just to kind of test out the range. So just throw him off course. Yeah. So I think um, if Muay Thai guy loses this round, then it's going to be a close decision because I think Kudu guy definitely lost first round. Mm -hmm. Maybe second round, it's very close, and third round. So I don't know. I don't know how the judges will score this. So yeah. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. Kudu guy using very good head pressure. That's something to always keep in mind. Your head is a very important leverage and fulcrum point. Mm. So, I cannot even imagine. Oh, oh, trying to spin kick. 
the kudo guy just looks so sweaty under all that gi pants and gi. Yeah. So, because look at how sweaty Muay Thai guy is. <laughs> so, oh, oh trying to man. Superman punch. Um, yeah, it's about a minute to go. Um, I don't know if anyone will step it up. They're probably more just trying to take this minute a little easy. Because look how tired they are. Muay Thai yeah. guy's hands are dropped. Oh. You better be careful. <laughs> Both of them. Yeah. Wow. Oof, another elbow. I mean, Muay Thai guy wins the award for landing effective elbows. Oh, Kudo guy is so tired. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> he, kicked himself. he spun kicked himself down. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, spinning back fist. Look at his. He Bro. might as well just take off his gi. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Kudo also has headbutts. So what this Kudo guy might be doing is he's almost trying to get rid of his headbutt reflex, because if you're that close, might as well headbutt. But I'm sure headbutts are not allowed Some in most fight okay. leagues. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, another spinning elbow. Oh. <laughs> Was that it? Okay, that was it, man. He put him in a headlock? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit of a sort of a guillotine lock, but usually that's not allowed. So the ref should have broken that up. But So that was oh. one good hip toss we saw. Wow, yeah. And then lots of Ooh. elbows landing. And he tried a spinning back fist. Okay, it hit the shoulder. This one hit him. Oh, no, it didn't hit him. Okay. So. Oh. Yeah, I missed him too. Bit, yeah. So this is interesting. Let's see who it's going to go to. I feel like it's got to be the Muay Thai. Yeah, I think they're probably... Yeah, yeah they went, you, you called it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think he was more aggressive. And he was a little bit more consistent, right? Kudo yeah. guy had his moments. But it looked like the Muay Thai guy was definitely the one who was in it to win it. Yeah. He yeah. had like a lot more momentum build up yep. throughout the entire fight. Definitely. So, wow, this was great, man. Uh, from Pitbull Fight in Ukraine. And this was... Vivek's first time. Does your band have a YouTube page right now? So I'm a solo artist. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I have a YouTube page. If mm -hmm. you just look up We Good, W-E-G-U-D, mm -hmm. e you nice. can find me on YouTube, Spotify. W-E-G-U-D, We Good. There you are. Yep. That's you. Okay, we found him. All right, guys. Go subscribe to Vivek if you want some R&B music. It's R&B and hip-hop, so you do both. Yeah, yeah exactly. But mostly R&B. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it also says Bay Area. So, by yeah, the way, guys, he's, from the Bay. that makes sense. So, if you have time, maybe tell people that you're in L.A. now or tell people you're in Santa Monica now. Let's see if you have it here. <laughs> we'll see. The, we'll see. Yeah, I feel we'll like see. the Bay Area still always got my heart. <laughs> That's true. People from the Bay Area always have a soft spot, kind of like how I have a soft spot for Chicago. Mm, right. Gotcha. Exactly. So, guys, go follow We Good. If I come to your breakdowns out.